Hello everyone, my name is Jozef and I am Mr. Musette. I am a full-time illustrator and I create art and illustration related videos here on YouTube. If you like fantasy art, mythology, legends and folk art, feel free to subscribe and click the notification bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. I am following the folk tale week art challenge for a while now and since I didn't join this year's Inktober, I will try to attempt to create 7 illustrations inspired by the Folk Tale Week 2022 prompt list. The concept which I choose is characters from the Hungarian folk tales. As some of you might know, my first language and mother tongue is Hungarian. So I grew up with the classical Hungarian folk tales. And since my art style is more often inspired from the folk art, I think that this challenge would be a great one for me. And today is the first day of the Folk Tale Week and I worked on the illustrations in advance to be able to post every single day an illustration for this week on my social media and also I will try to post a video every single week creating an illustration for this challenge. The prompt for the first day is full. For the first prompt I decided to illustrate the devil, who is very often a character in the Hungarian folk tales. And every single time he tries to take advantage of the poor people, but at the end of each story he gets fooled. To create the first illustration I had a little bit of struggles at the beginning, not because I didn't know what I want to draw or what concept to choose, but because I didn't know what kind of way to approach the illustrations, that each illustration to have something in common and at the end to be a cohesive illustration series, as often I like to do with most of my illustration series. So this character was the third sketch which I already created and I wasn't satisfied with the preview two ones until I realized that I should make the shapes more simpler and maybe concentrate more on the character and on the pattern which I will use in the illustration. Also off camera I decided to add a frame around the illustration which will be a returning element in all of the illustrations as a returning element will be the flower pattern as well. I really had fun creating this illustration and even if it's a little bit morbid the illustration I also think that it's cute and beautiful. To create the final illustration I used a mixed media Canson paper which is 300 GSM. For the line art I used black pigment liners from Stadler 
For the coloring I use the mailing watercolors and for some shadings I also use some Faber-Castell polychromos colored pencils. To finish up the illustration I colored in the background with black drawing ink and I added white stars with a white jelly roll pen. Hope you enjoyed the final result. And if you want to follow my journey on this challenge all this week, check out to be subscribed for the upcoming videos and you can also follow me on my social media accounts which are linked in the description of the video. After this challenge will end, next week I will be making these original illustrations available for sale in my online store along with my other original watercolor illustrations and products. Thank you for watching and see you soon.